So good morning class. Um, for today, uh, I will be your teacher for this subject, General Biology. So my name is Crescentia C. Tabuga Jr. So I would like to ask, is everybody feeling okay? Um, I think it's a bit here. Um, but before anything else, I would like to request everyone to pick up some pieces of paper um, while the others will um, arrange the chairs properly before we formally begin with our class. Okay, thank you. Are you done? Okay, can you please sit properly? Um, for this morning, I would like to request to lead the prayer. You didn't do calzada. Please lead the prayer. Amen. Thank you. Good morning. Um, good morning, class. Okay. Um, before we proceed to our discussion, uh, I will check your attendance first. We have um, Abastas, Agoncillo, we have Aruba, we have Buba, we have Borja, and Zamora. Thank you so much. Okay, um, we're going to um, take first our review for our previous discussion class. So, what was our previous lesson all about? Anyone in the class? Okay, Zamora, okay. Okay, our previous uh, lesson was about grassland ecosystem. Okay. Uh, what is your idea, class, um, of the grassland ecosystem so, uh, for our previous topic? Okay, thank you so much for the participation. Okay. Um, what are the three factors that affect the composition and structure and functioning of grassland? Anyone in the class? Okay, Borja. We have the composition. That's number one. Thank you so much. Next, we have... Climate. We also have... Next one I will call Fiamba. Very good fire. And the next we have Yes, very good. Grazing. Okay. That are the three factors that affects the composition, structure, and functioning of the grasslands. We have climbing. We have fire and grazing. Thank you so much, class. Okay. Um, for your activity this morning, um, I will have to um, present this objective first for our discussion later. So, at the end of the lesson, you, the students, will be able to distinguish the different types of freshwater ecosystem, identify the plants and animals found in the freshwater ecosystem, demonstrate appreciation to protect the freshwater ecosystem, and actively participate in doing group discussions. Okay, that would be our objective this morning. So, now, my question class, so why do we need to protect our freshwater ecosystem? What happened to the freshwater ecosystem if it's not properly managed? Okay, so I will divide the class into four. You have to count off from one to four. I will distribute to the envelopes containing the puzzle pictures, scissors, sketch tape, and manila paper. All you have to do is to arrange the puzzle pictures, post it to the manila paper, and after you have to post it to the board, the, the group that finished first will declare as the winner. Okay, I have here the envelope. So you may 
count of first. So from we have a bastas. You count of one. Tapos next borha. Tapos so on and so forth. So okay, you are done. So group one will be in this portion. Group two will be in that portion. Group three in this portion and group four in that portion. Okay. So who will first present for your output? Okay, group four. Thank you so much. So give hands to group four class. Thank you, group four, for your presentation. Next we have group three. Okay, group three. Thank you so much, group three. Next we have group two. Okay. Thank you so much, group two. Next we have the last but not the least, the group one. Okay. Thank you, group one. So Moto yung output class no from group one to group four. So give hands for all the presenters. Okay. In connection with your presentation a while ago, no, so why do we need to protect our freshwater ecosystem? Anyone in the group? Okay. Yes, you are right. We need to protect our freshwater ecosystem because it is part of the environment and it is our life as well. Diba? Sa freshwater ecosystem ta magkuha o foods na to, for example, especially water. And water is life. Next, what happened to the freshwater ecosystem if it is not properly managed? Anyone from the class? Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Borja, for your cooperation. No? Freshwater ecosystem, well, if it's not properly managed, no, it's not ma destroy. Okay. Become polluted. So, affected with the condition of the plants and animals that are not going to be Okay. But, um,. To formally begin with our ano, class, our discussion for this morning, so we will go into first define terms of our topic for today. We have fresh water ecosystem, uh, fresh water, I will call the la calzada to read fresh water. Okay, next I will call DVET to read ecosystem. Okay, I will call next Solis, okay, for the wetland. Okay, thank you for the cooperation. Okay, who wants to read? Plus. Okay, thank you, Salazar, for uh, reading the lake. What about river? Kisa may mubasa. Ayamba, thank you. River. Pants. I will call Obenza, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, I will call Abastilias. Stream, can you read? Okay, thank you. Um, James Velasco, uh, please read the low thing and the lint thing. Thank you so much. So, in here, class, we have different types of fresh water. Okay, so as you seen in the picture, uh, we have Lintic ecosystem and lake. We have lake in the part and the span. So, when say na observe me yung last, if you say lake and pond. So, may observation in yung, for example. 
Yes, very good, Velasco. Ang lay class, wala ko pa, wala enclosed lang ang iyahang sa so, mad water. Wala kayo flow, wala siya istagnan. Okay, thank you so much. So, what about lutic ecosystem? What is your idea, class, about river and stream? Anyone in the class? What about Priselda, Christian James? Yes, very good. That is river and stream is flowing. Mag Agash Shaklats. Okay, thank you so much, Priselda, for your participation. Okay. So we are going now, um, we are going to characterize or the characteristics of a lutic system. So we have flow in one direction. So, ang yan direction class is ano lang, isa lang din siya. Hindi siya mag vice versa. So one direction. As you observe this picture, so downhill lang din siya. Next, we have usually high in the salt oxygen. Yan naman high in the salt oxygen. Because, yan naman, yan naman high in the salt oxygen. Oh, very good. Because high in the salt oxygen because of the composition of sunlight. Labi na glass ko, ang imang fresh water ecosystem is, sa man, open area siya, wala kayong vegetation, wala yung riparian, wala yung mga nakatabot ng mga plants, gali, yung mga punong kahoy. See, for example, no, di ba kung mag-init mo water, taas kayo ang inyong kayo, ang inyong fire, tapos ang inyong water gamay lang, di ba dali siya mo evaporate and that particular ang inyong dissolve oxygen, dali labot siya mo bukal, okay. And it's characterized in swallower the lakes. Diba? Swallow ang saman. Mga river or streams. And narrower and longer than lakes. Narrow siya, pero taas. Ang lake di class is um, ano siya, usually rounded and irregular ang iyahang shape, for example. Ang um, best example class sa lake is the saman. Lake mainit sa sunda. Okay, thank you. So also, ang water temperature daw class sa uh, low tech is same lang siya from top to bottom. Dili siya mangutro. So yung ana lang, uniform siya. Ang water put doesn't stay put for very long. For example, kung ang lake class or ang pond but stay din ang water, pero ang river or stream flowing din siya dire-dire so ang iyahang current. Okay. So, ang river and streams now, class, is originate from snow melt in the mountain. Usually, ang river class of stream, na aginat silay sa man source. Usually, ang source niya is nasa mountain. So, at, it, at its headwaters, it is usually cold and full of oxygen. Kapansin mo, class, pag isa na naka ko sa bukid niya, makabantay niya na ay Subak, for example. Di ba, boom now kayo, class? Okay, very good. Very good, Velasco. So, si Velasco, you know, ang kuhanan ka ng best in oral participation. So, cold and full of oxygen and, that, and runs swiftly through a swallow river bed. So, as a river in the stream flows down a mountain, it may broaden, become warmer, wider, and slower, and it changes with the land and its runs through. For example, class, nakapansin mo to class na tanawa ang stream, di ba? Ano siya? Um, slower po ng iyahang run sa water, pero kung ang muabot na siya to sa area where wala na kayo ang um, kanagaling mga punuan sa kahoy, for example, mas init na siya. Pero kung na ay mga nakakover para mga kahoy, for example, mga plants, is siya. Okay, di ba? At it changes with the land and climate at its run. So, to kung naan sa open area, no, wala na yoy man, kahoy mas, init siya. Okay. So, I would like to call um, or beta to read the characteristics of lentic ecosystem. Thank you so much. 
so much. Okay, thank you for the participation or the no. So, lenting aquatic system as are those which contain stagnant water, for example. So, stagnant siya meaning hindi siya flowing. So, these are usually formed in small or large depression on Earth's surface which possesses no exit for the water to flow up. So, basically, stagnant lang siya class, hindi siya mo flow, wala siya exit. Just like for the pond and the lake. So, na the realize in your class and say difference sa river, sa stream, sa lake and banks. Okay. It is mainly the absence of flow which is responsible for this differences, di ba? Mainly ang flow sa water ang difference between lentic and lotic ecosystem. So it is derived most of their waters from rain surface runoffs from underground surface. Kabantay mo class ng mudag. Kung kuso kayong ulan, natingalan ka na ang open land, anong dagan may tubig, for example. So, inganit siya. Surface runs out and from underground sources niya. Kabantay ko buklas ka dahil, di ba sa una, maghimu mo ka tabay, atabay, kabantay ka na, nanong dagay water, dito lang magkalot pa, o, naman, yuta. So, naa siya ay water component. So, fluctuation in water quality from season to season affects the composition of the living community. Because class, Ano ang fluctuation in water quality, for example? Labi na kung ang imong water is, ang imong fresh water ecosystem is open area, wala kayo plants na nakasurround. Di ba mas init siya? And it affect the condition of the fresh water ecosystem. Mas init siya kung wala kayo yung mga, um, what you call, mga kahoy, for example, mga, um, bugang bakaha or what we call this one, mga tanong, ana, di ba kabantay mo, ana? Pero kung dati tanong ang particular ng freshwater ecosystem, mas good na siya. Okay. So, in here, we have lakes and ponds. So, I will call isa pa man. Mary Grace Dulisin to read lakes and ponds. Okay, thank you Mary Grace for your participation. So, as Mary Grace um, read class, so lakes, ponds, and wetlands can form naturally where the ground reaches the earth's surface. Okay, ang lakes, class, mo na example, ano is a lake may. Okay. Beavers, class, and also create ponds by dumping up streams. Diba? This is just a beaver pond. So later, I will show you the picture of beaver. So humans intentionally create artificial lakes by damming flowing rivers and streams to use them for power, irrigation, water storage, and recreation. So ang human class, kabantay mo nga, naagoy uh, river nga magput sila dams para to supply electricity for hydrothermal, for example, irrigations. So mag irrigate or ang irrigation class is necessary to supply water for those farming area, for example, labi na sa kanang mga humayan. And of course, water storage, for example, di ba, natay ka ng mga portion na um, labi na sa area class na where ang um, water supply is scarce, is scarce ka, yung kanang ulang, so mag-store sila of water. And recreation, of course, long time ago, katong bata pa ko class, no, mga ligo gimi og suba, di ba, part of recreation, di ba, ang batang kakaroon kung pwede pa ba mga ligo karoon kay Murag? Taman, pandemic, tapos uh, kung ano kayo subano, for example. Okay. So, wetlands, for example, class. So, kinsay nakahatag sa mga example sa wetlands na okay, kitang sa Karaga region. Okay, Velasco. Yes, Agusan Mars. Agusan Mars, class, is one of the best example for wetlands. So, ang wetlands daw, class, is transitional habitats in aquatic and terrestrial environments where water table is at or the near surface. Ang include ano class, di ba? Agusan Marsh, for example. Ang Agusan Marsh is one of the example for wetlands, di ba? So, we have swamps, bogs, estuaries, and temporary ponds. So, ang wetland, wetland class is a fresh, water wetland siya nga ecosystem. Walay wetlands na marine. Okay? Understand? 
Okay. Next, uh, I will call Obenza or Owen Lloyd to read um, Fresh Water. This boy should for your participation. So, again, plus fresh water wetlands are areas of land covered with fresh water for at least part of the year. So at least lang last really all throughout the year because uh, the Philippines class is saman, a tropical country in which saman, natay tagulan o ta init. So, ang mga wetlands class is mapuno na siya water kung sobra ang kukusog sa ulan just like nowadays, di ba? that ay mo abot nga bag yung odet for example so mo gid na daghan ang water so masobrahan ko class so na pay usahay gud nga murag gamay ra iyang water because of the climate or temperature are identified based on their water so types hydrate for soil and vegetation so class ma identify ni mo nga wetlands na siya because of its water type so usually fresh water and soil type so may hybrid soil, ang iyang type sa soil class is barlako kong galik class kanang pag inong tamakal mo rin maluno dahil yung kaana o mo rin malubo ang inong field for example dahil rin siya sa other types of soil nga kanang area or soil na dili usually uh, naga-stay ang water Okay, anang vegetation? Ang vegetation class, meaning ana ang mga different types of plants na naa sa wetlands for example dahi ang component dahi ang iyang type ang iyang kind ng mga plants ang naa sa naman kana ka particular na wetlands or the fresh water okay so hybrid soil class is wetland soil you mentioned which wetland soil na naman remains wet long enough to create oxygen pero poor condition so, basa siya per class. So, meaning daw, kung ang water is basa per no, I mean, ang soil is basa per minute, purang yung condition. Maunang, di ba, ang plants na naangat to, lahi-lahi, di ko, because plants usually consume oxygen. Okay, tama? Ang oxygen is one of the component para, saman, for living organism. Yan, poor man ang condition class sa, oxygen ana nga part so dahi sa plants ang mo inhabit ana plants and wetlands are hydrophytic or mga hydrophytes so later i will show you what are the types of hydrophytes na mga plants adapted to grow in wet soil with little oxygen okay wetlands have important environmental functions that are needed to help protect our land and water sources for example plants Kabantay mo nga, di ay kabaha kong dali sa tinga area sa Agusan mo. Nga naman, kay ang Agusan Mars, mura siya um, basin, uh, mura siya dako kayo siya ng kawa class or kanang langgan na sa loob sa inya ang tanan water coming from its sources sa taas, sa Davao area, sa Davao de Oro, at ito pili sa kuan class ka ng uh, Mount de Walo. Di haman ang water resource sa Agusan. So, pag bundok sa usog nga ulan so iya siya sang salaon bago diri moabot sa ato so that's why ing ana ka importante ang wetland class because iya sa nasay environmental protection para sa sa man sa ato so structures and characteristic of freshwater ecosystem so i will call de la cruz okay thank you de la cruz to read for your participation. No, ingon daw class na take up only about 1%. Imagine class 1% tala ang component sa fresh water all throughout the earth. So imagine class kung hindi pa yun na sila i-protect, i-conserve, i-manage. So wala tayo sa man. Inon si Kali. Di ba na pwede mag-inom o soap water? 
although salt water could be processed into drinking water but diba class mas mas efficient or mas barato mas dali kung fresh water na atong ginainom okay and it's also imagine good class ang mga rivers daw ang mga brooks only 0.3% so imagine po ang river, ang stream, ang creeks mga wala na. So, wa na kita ignon ani class. So that's why we have to protect, we have to conserve our fresh water ecosystem. So, ang temperature daw class, ang water depth, ang water flow, light levels and oxygen, oxygen levels are all abiotic factors. Unsa so, may abiotic factor? Abastas. Okay, very good. Ang abiotic daw class is wala yung life. There are non-living organisms. So na, research the DC Abastas. Okay, so abiotic factors does that affect freshwater ecosystem. So for example, ang temperature, kung taas kayo ang temperature sa water, 100 degree na, dapat ay mabuhay nga itong animals or plants, wala na. What about water depth? Kung mabaw kaayo, nung sa mga class, wala na kaayoy, mabuhay na ito kay, mabaw naman kaayo ang water. ba Sa river, for example. What about light levels? Kada ma-absorb yung mga light coming from the sunlight. Okay. Labi na kung init kaayo class, tapos uh, with uh, cooperation or contribution of sunlight ang light levels ang nag-init kayo ang surface di ba class kung mapansin nyo kung tingin input ang water okay so in here we have two main types of fresh wetlands okay so ang picture class ang marsh at ako may example ganyan na ang marsh is Agustan marsh is contains non-woody plants so non-woody siya meaning dili siya mga kahoy ang naaanak na particular nga freshwater ecosystem. Mga sagbot, mga tagas na mga sagbot. So, ang swamps daw class is dominated by woody plants such as trees. Okay? And shrubs. So, uh, karon yun ang ma-differentiate ma kung unsa nga mga plants or vege vegetation ang inyong makita in the particular freshwater ecosystem. So in here class, we have different types of plants. Diba? So akong gimension ganina, we have macrophytes. Kaya mga macrophytes class are those plants na makita only ha, makita lang yun na siya sa fresh water. Hindi yan na pwede nyo makita sa marine. Kaya lahi po itong sa salty water. So in here class, we have nasama na siya, search to file nyo the mersome. So scientific na niya, scientific name. So kini nga mga klasi-klasi nga mga tanong ka sa inyong makita nato sa freshwater ecosystem. For example, sa lake, sa rivers, sa wetlands, sa marshes. So, also this one, di ba? Ito akong uh, i-mention. Pistia estrututis. Kinin, nymphaea, lutus. Di ba? Kinius walik ka. Kinin to ha. Bakit? And then, yun sa kanang mga kanang mga latest walik ka ng kinin. Kinin, kinin, kinin yung mga water lily. O, oh, ing-anak siya. Ing-anak ng mga klase ng mga plants ang inyong makitaan in that particular type of freshwater ecosystem. So, the outcast in here, we have water hyacinth, white water lilies, and cattails plants. Cattails, dili, 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 kuan ha, itong sa terrain. Cattails, meaning glass, malag similay, ilangit siya kay ang iyahang structure. Okay. So in here class, we have different types of animals na inyong makita sa sa man? Fresh water ecosystem. Especially, we have microorganisms. Anong importante man ang microorganisms? Anyone in the class? Ah, okay. I will call... Ayun na si Vilaso kasi hindi na siya o oral. Kanang hindi mag oral. I will call... Ah, Bastillas, okay. What is the importance of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae, and phytoplankton? Very good. They are the decomposer of some other animals. So, wala bacteria, wala fungi, mamatay na isda, 
buo gihapon siya. Whereas, kung na ay bacterial fungi, it helps to decompose. Also, organisms of standing water ecosystem generally would be washed away in flowing water ecosystem. So, yung ano ang mga organism na bakit ano mo dito sila mag-stick because of the current of the water. Plankton. Kung saan yung plankton class? So, ang plankton daw is tiny free floating or weakly swimming organisms that leave both fresh water and salt water. For example, so ang plankton class is pagkaon dun sila sa other what? Other organism na present at to sa naman. Kana nga environment, for example. So algae or phytoplankton are supported by nutrients in the water and form the base of aquatic food. Ang aquatic food class is that ang sabi na siya, process wherein ang mga kinihing sila ng mga animals would be the food for the other organism. Yeah, kinipun nga other organism, one of the young food food sa other organism. So that is food web. Okay? Understand? So also we have different types of animals, for example, invertebrates. Okay, nga yung invertebrates man, I will call buwan, cherry buwan. Nga yung gitawag mo siya na invertebrates. A very good buwan, thank you for the cooperation. Invertebrates plus because wala sila'y backbone. Okay, wala sila'y backbone. That is examples of worms, the mollusk, we have Insects and the zooplankton. So, sila klas mga benthos na sila bini mga bottom dwelling organism na asila sa ilalong sa mga yuta, for example, di ba? Mussels, worms, mainly decomposers. Okay, mainly benthic organisms klas live attached to the hard surface of the rock. Noona, kung makapansin mo mas matumong sabi, for example, magkalokal kaya mo o kanang yuta magpakita mo o mga Anang kaga, for example, mga shell, di ba? Okay. Next, we have vertebrates. Ganong vertebrates man ang tawag sa ilaha? I will call Maria Anita Ayaton. Okay. Very good, Maria Anita. So, naa sila'y backbone class. Okay. Fishes, di ba? Ang fish, na yun na yun siya'y uh, skeletal structure niya. Amphibians and the reptiles also. They are actually observed in a fresh water ecosystem. So, kini siya class, these are types of man, mga fishes that is present only in the fresh water. So, kini class, this is part of my master's degree that I'm going to ako. So, kini man ako ang thesis. So, kini nga mga isda ang akong nakuha nga to sa Lake Mainit. And Lake Mainit is significant for fishery resource in Karaga region. Naghan kaayo o klase-klase ng isda ang present sa Lake Mahinit. Okay? And muna ang ato ang topic ng class is we have to protect, we have to manage our freshwater ecosystem. E kung mga wala na sila class, wala na tay food resource, wala na tay Lake Mahinit na pwede na ito e saman. Kuha na nung ato mga Anak buhay, nato tama ko hagis na para ibaligya, of course, di ba? Pwede tama ko hag water nato for our daily life activities, okay? So we also have this one class. So another types of fishes that could be, sa man, observe and covered from the lake, for example. So also this one we have different types of animals. Ba, ako yung mention ganina si beaver. Yung yung suggest ng beaver ha. Si beaver is an, uh, a type of an animal that could engineer or, to, or create an dam para sa ilahang uh, activities. So we have crayfish and turtle. So mo na yung mga makita sa freshwater. So we have, here also we have um, red-tailed catfish. We have bivalves or shell. Di ba, mga kumakuta o mga inasun ng mga different types of shell in that particular fresh water ecosystem. So also this one, Kinesia class is mga types of um, shells or mollusks that could found in the lake. So, 
class, please uh, bear in mind that ang kinilang ng mga organisms or types of animals ang makuha sa freshwater ecosystem. Lahit po dun sa marine ecosystem or the salt water. Okay. So also this one class it can be found in um, certain freshwater habitat. Also this one class is makitaan po din nato sila sa freshwater ecosystem, especially sa Lake Mayinit. Ikaw ang nagsampling may class during sa po ang graduate study. So, kini nga mga langgam na mga klase ng mga egret is makitaan ni mo siya madito sa Lake Mayinit po ni So, part po siya sa ecosystem. So, in here, we are going to discuss the human impacts of freshwater ecosystem. Ano sa may human impacts? Anyone? The loss of indiclare. Pollution. Yes, very good. Thank you for the cooperation. So again, class, pollutants are direct components altering the morphological, behavioral, and physiological condition of many aquatic species. So in anin siya ka, importante to Saman. to create or to create an activities na di rin maka saman maka pollute sa atong fresh water. So have you noticed kini class is picture ni siya sa Mount Diwalwal where ang nagaling small mining scales na, na mga activities tapos magita sila gold na to nila ilabay ang ilahang mga waste materials sa water. And Mount Diwalwal class is connected to Agusan Mars and Agusan Mars is connected to Agusan River in what? In Butuan. So, in an effect sa pollution. Okay. So, human impact on rivers, I will call um, sa pay wala ka oral dili ha. Um, Miss Hanlin Havana, please read human impact on rivers. Okay. Very good, thank you for the operation. So again, class, industries use river water in manufacturing processes and as receptacle for waste. Sila ang mura garbage bin or, gar or garbage can sa mga waste materials coming from different types of sources, industrial, we have sa um, chemical industry, we have Sa tong balay, for example, di ba? So for many years, people have used rivers for dumping, sewage, and garbage. So ang river class is when I, ako personally, I see the rivers have been, sa man, pinalabayan siya o mga basura. Okay. Run off from land puts pesticides and other poisons into rivers and puts riverbeds with toxic sediment. Especially kasi kini siya na portion, it's applicable ni siya na sa lake bed because why Lake Mayinit class? Ang Lake Mayinit is surrounded by farm. So, kung sa farm is way, diba, we tend to use pesticides, for example, to first growing for our crops. Then, so pag magamit ang pesticides class, so, naman magin na ang run of an, na pagmuulan, so, natupain mo sa river system or sa lake, for example. So, dams also alter the ecosystem in and around the river. Ganun ni alter man niya? Because class, we book na niya ang current sa water. Ang volume sa water, hindi na maka proceed into the next portion of the river because giharangan na sa dam. Because dam is used to create irrigation or hydropower plant. Okay. All of these practices have polluted rivers with toxins which have killed river organisms and made river fish inedible as well as polluting some living water. So, that's why class, sa unang panahon, makadalik pa tag-inom o tubig sa stream o to tag-bukid or sa river. But nowadays, tanan is being processed na ang water, especially our drinking water. So, this is just another example for the human impacts on the river. So, have you noticed class, we have industries flowing, waste in the waters as well as the picture below so this has also another human impact on the rivers we have oil spills so kapansin mo di ba kung naibibalit ang mga barco nga puno uh, na ikargal nga oil tapos ma 
ma-loaded siya for example diba? necessarily to contain or to um, sa man clean the oil na nag-spill na to sa surface sa water because that could affect the living organisms okay so this another types of human in crop and fresh water ecosystem class we have oil spills we have endless industrial waste garbage disposal and fish kills so these are just type of um, pollution that affects the condition of the ma sa atong fresh water so in here class this is the sources of pollution to kinilain na in yung mga klase ng pollution na naka-affect sa ato ang fresh water ecosystem. Let's say for example, so natay industries in here, natay ka ng panggaliglas na construct o kanang mga kalsada, lalo ka ng mga asphalt, yung mga gamit na sila o mga chemicals and asphalt at pwede na kayo sa pagmuulan. So ang runoff off magpapainong sa ato mga water, underwater ground, sa ato mga rivers and lakes and so on and so forth. So in here, um, okay, that would be all for our discussion. So, any questions, comments, suggestions, violent reactions? How about that? Okay, so let's proceed to our activity again. So for your activity no each group uh, same lang gyapon ang group no katong na group tong tong activity ganina so group 1 2 3 4 same members so each group will going to answer the following questions i will distribute the manila paper and the marker you are given 10 minutes to do the task each group will choose one representative to report the output in the front of the class after the activity so i will give you 10 minutes to answer the following questions okay so anyang guide questions in your class so number one describe the habitat in each ecosystem what are the types of the plants that can be found in the in the ecosystem so what are the types of animals that can be found in the ecosystem and how can you describe the temperature in the ecosystems okay um still group one in here so group 2 in that particular area, group 3 and group 4. I will give you 10 minutes to finish that activity. And later you have to present it in the class. So for your guide class, so this will be your rubrics for a group presentation. On ya, kayo man present. So items to rate, we have cooperation and participation. So 15 points, gana ninyo no. So presentation skills, we have 20 points. Neatness. So, kung talo mo yung pagsulat sa mga paper at pag-present, that's 10 points. And work side, hindi ka nang din iba na 5 points. You have a total of 50 points. Okay, I will give you 10 minutes to finish your activity. Okay, you have 4 minutes left. Three minutes left. You have two and one. Stop. Okay. I will call now. I'm going to present your output. So, this is number four. No, that's it. Number four. Group four. Man, to ang present. So, group two. Ato ang ko na present. Okay. Group two. Present your output in the class. Okay, thank you group 2. Give hands, class for the group 2. Next, we have group 3. Okay, group 3. Okay, thank you group 3. What about group 1? Okay. Thank you group 1. And last but not least, the Group four for the output. Thank you so much for the cooperation class. Uh, give yourself a clap. 
So for our next activity, no, still, I will divide the class into four groups. You have to count off from one to four. So save na lang yung class para madali ka. So each group will be assigned to portray or to present today. So dahil na activity, no. So, hanap dyan na. Sorry, class. Yan ako matutu. You are given five minutes to practice. So still, group one and group two, three and four. Muna yung bahaton. So si River, maghi mo siya o group slogan. Si Stream Group, maghi mo sa poem or poem. Si Lake Group, sa TV ad. And si Pan Group, sa jingle. So katong inyong mga natunan class, ato ang itong pass, ato ang itong bindisas ganina, inyong i-apply diri. For example, si River, si slogan. No? Slogan, bawal magtapo ng basura dito. Oh. That's another type of slogan. Si Pong, so maghimo siya ang Pong na unsay kuhan ka na. Unsa ang nakakang stream, for example. So, so and so forth, si Lake Group of si TV Ad. So I will give you five minutes to finish this activity today. Okay. So you have four minutes left. We have one minute. So, stop na class. So, kinsay una mo, present. Sa ilang output. Okay, aap na mong uh, si group 2, si stream group, mag-present siya. Okay. Present si stream. Okay, thank you so much. Stream group for your presentation. Very good class nun. Apply din nila ilang gitunan sa ilang form. What about sa jingle? Okay. Sa fan group. Okay. Thank you so much. Fan group for your jingle. Very good, no? Namila din ako class. Kina apply din niyo ang inyo ha? The learn for today's discussion. We have late group sa TV ad. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Lake group and last but not the least, the river group. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for the operation class. So, very good class. Uh, I'll appreciate your effort for doing those activities for today. No, um, thank you. I realized that na So, uh, after the activity, no, uh, I will give. You will go to get one whole sheet of paper. And answer the following questions quickly and concisely as possible. You are given 10 minutes, minutes to finish the question. So, kini ang mga question class. So, pagkuhaan naman sa inyong papel. Anong ba naman na magkuha kami ito ng papel o ball pen? So, okay. Yeah. You have 10 minutes. 10 minutes ba? Okay, 10 minutes to finish this question. Okay, you have... Five minutes left. So remind them of the minute in class. You have three minutes left. And time's up. Pass all the papers in the front. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, all the papers in. Okay, thank you, class. So for tomorrow's assignment, um, you have to bring one picture of any freshwater ecosystem that can be found within the Carrado region, and say something why this place must be visited. Put it in a short band paper. So that would be your assignment for tomorrow. Any questions, clarifications? Violent reactions. Yes, Velasco. Yes, the picture would be um wawala ni mo bukin the Faraga region ng mga um freshwater ecosystem. For example, lake na bay makita ng lake din sa Faraga region other than lake mainit uh, freshwater stream ba nga makita? Okay. Wala na. Okay. Thank you class for today's discussion. Thank you for listening. I hope uh, you have um, you learned something for our discussion for today. Um, see you all tomorrow. Thank you and good morning.